If you're in between the ages of 14 to 24, listen up. This is the makeup look you're gonna do every day for school or for university so that you can look like a baddie and then your brain can work its best because you know you already that bitch. First things first, do not skip skin prep. We do not want any cakey flaky skin throughout the day. Go in with your favorite moisturizer, making sure that skin is hydrated. When you're in a rush in the morning, you don't have time to be doing a full on eyeshadow look. So take a contour stick, any contour stick works. Put this all over your eye. I'll blend this bad boy out, make a warmer tone brown and just put it at the end of your eye. Super, super messy, you guys. Now take that same brown and put it under your eye. Now line your top waterline with a brown eye pencil. We're gonna draw the smallest wing on the outside of the eye just with this brown eye pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry, because we're gonna smudge this out anyway. Now taking that same brush, just blend this out very lightly, don't go too hard. We're still keeping the shape, but we're smoking this out because we don't need this to be perfect. Period, that literally took me five minutes because that eye makeup is so messy, there's no harsh line. Therefore, you don't have to be perfect and therefore it doesn't take a long time. Apply your mascara. Y'all, I wish someone gave me this tutorial when I was in school because listen up, the way I was doing my makeup in school was so embarrassingly bad, I don't even want to talk about it. And that's the eye look done. Now let's move on to the face. You know how school era is, you really don't want to be having heavy foundation on your face because that school era is just going to make it all melt off. So take a serum, a tinted serum. Apply as much or as little as you want. This is going to even out your skin tone, but it's really going to feel so light. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything. Now make sure you're using a concealer concealer that doesn't crease because that's gonna be your biggest enemy. My biggest advice for concealer to actually cover your face is obviously let it set, but the number one thing is don't use a beauty blender, use a brush. The brush doesn't take in as much product as a beauty blender does and therefore it actually does the concealer work instead of taking away half of that concealer. Ain't nobody got time for contouring in the morning, so therefore you're just gonna take a bronzing stick or a bronzing powder, apply it all over your face, super, super messy, just to give you some color in your face and some dimension. Powder blush is probably gonna last you much longer than a cream blush. Setting powder is your best friend. Take a good amount, tap it on your hand, and really press it into your skin. Really put it into the places that are gonna sweat throughout the day, which is right here, right here, right here, and right here. Y'all already know I'm overlining my lips with a contour stick. Blending that out, overlining my lips. Now we don't want that weird line around our lips because our lip liner is starting to fade. So take your powder, put it on your lips. Trust me, I know it's gonna feel weird, but this is the only way your lip liner is going to stay all day. Just tap in your lipstick. Take a good ass setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Infallible one and drain your face with it. And now you look like a baddie. I always say if you look good, then you feel good. You're not worried about, oh, how do I look? What do I, what does my face look like? Like, do I look ugly? No, because now you know you look good. You know you look good and therefore you don't have to worry about anything else except for learning because that's what you came to school to do. Good luck in school, girl. You got this and you're going to look good while doing it. Period.